I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast, and today we're going to have a showdown between the new Splice X4 and the Switchblade Razor. These are both vMix-based Switchblade products for portable live production. They're both small form factor, four-channel SDI, vMix 4K live production systems. Now, the real question is, if they both run vMix 4K, and if they both have four SDIs on them, what's the difference, and why would you pick one over the other? Let's take a close look at each and then contrast the two. So this is the Splice X4. It has four SDI inputs across the front. It has four USB 3.0 connectors, two on the front and two on the back. On the back are the two USB connectors, two HDMI uh, connectors, one for UI, one for multi-view or program out if you're connecting to a projector, and it has uh, an Ethernet connector. It's got a fairly small form factor. It's four inches by four inches, meaning that you can fit this just about anywhere. This makes a great backup switcher, or if you like to have portability, this makes possibly the most powerful four by four inch, four channel SDI production switcher possible. Inside, it's got an i3 CPU running at 2.2 gigahertz, and it's got a Radeon 540 GPU. Now, the i3 might sound like a liability, but since vMix is highly GPU optimized, it can lean more on the GPU for tasks that otherwise might be uh, sent over the CPU. The exceptions, of course, being streaming and some codecs for recording. So let's take a look at the Razer. The Razer is a little bit bigger, um, though still quite small uh, on the scale of a computer. Uh, you can see it's about the size of my hand. Um, this is 8 inches by 6 inches by 3 inches, meaning it's still pretty small. Uh, you can still call it a book, though it's a very large book, uh, perhaps Dune or um, Watership Down. This uh, particular unit has four SDIs across the front, USB 3.0, USB-C, uh, it's got two USB 2.0s across the top. This is where I have my keyboard and mouse plugged in. And then on the back, we have these two wireless paddles. I'll fold those out of the way. So it's got external wireless, which means it has better range. Um, Ethernet, and then this is the onboard uh, HDMI. Uh, we don't actually plug into that. This funny looking thing here is power. And then we have another two USBs. Uh, USB 3.1s, and then these three things over here are the monitors, HDMI, display port, and then um, the mini display port. So those are the different connectors on this unit. It has an i7-8700 um, CPU, and it has its own discrete dedicated NVIDIA 1060 GPU, meaning that this unit has as much power as some of our much larger units, and that's all been folded into this extremely small unit. In fact, half of this uh, particular box is heatsink to dissipate all of the superpower from these high-powered CPUs, GPUs, etc. So far, all I've done is describe the units physically. What kind of CPU does it have? What kind of GPU does it have? What kind of inputs and outputs does it have on the box? What are the dimensions of it? But how does this actually stack up in production? The size of the GPU and CPU affect the number of inputs and the kind and quality of streaming and recording that you can do on a unit by unit basis. An example of the kind of project that the Razer could handle would be four SDIs, 1080p stream, four NDIs, a total of 50 inputs, recording at 75 megs, and four channels of replay. This is very similar to vMix's Ruby specification. The Splice X4, on the other hand, could do four SDI, 1080p stream, two NDIs, a total of 20 inputs, record at 25 megs, no replay, and this is very similar to vMix's Sapphire specification. So it's not very different from uh, a laptop. The difference between the two, of course, is one is the same power as a laptop and the other is the same power as a desktop. The beauty, of course, is that they're both much smaller than both of those uh, in either case. I hope that helps clear up some of the differences between the Razer and the Splice X4. They're both great products running vMix 4K with four channels of SDI, but being very different in size and price means that they can be used on different projects for different kinds of benefits. 
So they're both powerful products in their own right, they just have different applications. So if you have any questions on the splice or the razor, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at US Broadcast, that's usbroadcast.co, or to our Facebook page, and please don't forget to give us a like on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Thank you.